Well, good morning. It is Sunday, and as I promised on my social media, Brian Beck, my certified personal trainer and a guy who knows about nutrition, and I are going to offer a, a Sunday show on how it is I have decided to lose all the weight I've lost. Yesterday was a huge milestone for me. I dropped under 300 pounds for the first time in 16 years. I uh, weighed in at 295 pounds, and we finished week 34, starting week 35 today. And I've done it without gastric bypass surgery. I've done it without any crazy dieting. There's been no powders, no pills, no, um, no anything. I mean, I'm not even being doctor supervised other than the fact that on our radio show, I see my doctor every Monday because he comes on our show and I just talk about what I'm doing and how I'm doing. And he says, keep doing it. Went and had my physical on Wednesday this last week and everything was unbelievable from two years ago. My blood sugar is, went from a 114 to a 72. My uh, bad cholesterol went from a 124 to a 110. My total cholesterol went from a 201 to a 170. Uh, my blood pressure is back down to 122, 123, over 78. Uh, everything has been fantastic except for my vitamin D. I would recommend that you go talk to your doctor and have him check your vitamin D because I found out that vitamin D handles your metabolism, it helps build muscle, and it works on bones. So you probably want to go get your vitamin D tested, which might, might explain why I get tired so fast when I work out now, because my vitamin D is down from 37 to 19. And so I've got to go take a vitamin D supplement. But today, as I promised, I'm going to give you three recipes, and I think we're going to do this every Sunday. I'm going to give you three recipes today, and Brian is going to talk to you about the diversity of what his eating plan is like, and we're going to show you how our plans are very similar in what we're doing, but that they're very different in what we're doing as well. And I'm going to give you those recipes as I go through them, and I'm going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then offer you an alternative to a snack. Brian and I added up all of what I'm going to eat, which I'm going to taste it all for you today to show you, but we added it all up. 900, was it 980 calories? 980 calories. 980 calories, and you're going to be astounded at what you find. And we've gotten all of our calorie count online. We went to, I eat avocado once a day, and so we went to the Avocado Growers Association's website. Uh, we looked up the apples. We went to... For that, uh, I went to one of the Apple Company's websites, and I can't recall which company it was. But uh, one thing you have to understand between uh, JP and myself is that when you see us right here behind this counter, if this was six years ago, yeah. we would have, how, many, how much weight have you lost now? 181 pounds. 181 pounds. I'm down over 250 pounds from what I used to weigh. Think about how much more weight would be behind this counter. Right now we're talking uh, 430 pounds roughly. Yeah. 430 pounds between six years ago between the two of us. So when we talk about what we're eating, we're, this is a very important aspect, but it's also something that we had to do long term. That's why he said there's, this, isn't, this isn't something that's a, uh, 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 some type of miracle uh, diet. It's not a pill. It's not you know, something crazy you're only going to do temporarily. This is something that you have to find that you can do for the rest of your life. Well, and one of the things that, that I found is that, and I'm, and I'm coining this, this is going to be a cookbook that Brian and I put together jointly. And what I've learned is, is that I need to learn how to live with what I'm eating. And we're going to get into that on the emotional side, but our cookbook, and I'm going to tell you the title on the emotional side, but before we, before we get into all of the emotional stuff, I want to cook for you. And what I brought here home is I brought home what I have at work. I've got a pan and it's got a, it's a circulon pan. It's got a magnetic bottom to it because I went out and I bought myself, well, actually my mother bought one and got one for free and gave it to me for Christmas, a new wave to convection burner. I can't burn anything down. I'm not playing with gas. Um, it's simply a convection burner you can put your hands on. It's so compact that I do all of my cooking. I don't go out to eat anymore when I'm at work. I actually cook right in my office on this burner. You can do this in your break room. You can put this in your bag. I could cook my entire breakfast and lunch at the designated times in less than 30 minutes and eat in less than 30 minutes. That's how simple this is by just having all the material at my office. People have told me, I mean, went to the gym the other day to work out for 60 minutes. I only ended up getting a 30 minute workout because I ended up sharing what I was doing with some folks. And they said, well, we just don't like to cook. And I'm gonna tell you, one of the things you're gonna have to figure out is either as Brian and I start packaging our food to sell, because I think we're gonna end up doing that, 
You're going to have to learn how to cook, and it's not hard. And you can watch what I'm doing, watch what Brian is doing. It's easy cooking. You don't have to be a chef to put together what we're doing. All you got to do is be a little bit creative and fit what it is that you like. And so I've got my convection burner that I take to work with me, my one pan. I normally have one wooden spoon. I have a cutting board at work, a knife, and then I have plasticware, plates, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and what I love to use, Pam. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me, well, John, just use olive oil. It's so much better for you. This is not so much bad for you. I re read through it. I had Brian read through it because Brian's background is in nutrition, mm -hmm. and he's done sports when he was in college. And so I had him read it. Is this chemically bad for us? It's not. And as you can see, all I did was put just a thin layer, because you can see the glare, of Pam on the bottom. I did not pull it or make it crazy, because then it would have a calorie or two that, That's very important because it is it, it, it actually is oil in that spray can, but it's based on the fact that you only put a coating in the pan is why it says it has no calories. It, all oils have the same amount of calories, So if you're but if you're pouring your oil in there compared to spraying it, you're gonna, you, in the long run, use a lot more oil and it's gonna be a lot more uh, calorie count. So here we go, I'm gonna start my burner. You might hear that noise, that's the convection part. And again, I'm going to heat my pan up. I've got it on medium high, 375 degrees. I'm going to heat my pan up. And as I'm doing that, I want to show you something. I've got my hand on the burner. I'm not going to burn my hands because the burner doesn't get hot anywhere the pan is not. I'm even going to touch it. I'm curious now. He's right. It's actually cool to the touch. It's cool to the touch. So you can't even burn yourself on this unless you just grab the pan because you're crazy. <laughs> so it'll be crazy. So, but you put your hands on the burner, and as long as it's not where the pan is touching the burner, then you're fine. Because watch, when I remove the pan, the burner stops working. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's really neat. So then you put it back on, just hit start, and you're back going again. I didn't know about this till today. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very magnetic is how it works. And it works off of a certain metal off the bottom of the pan, a metallic. So we're going to do breakfast first. I will get into the office. This takes me less than 30 minutes. I have already cut up all my vegetables, but I only take like a quarter of a bell pepper. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I don't count the calories on my vegetables. And I'll let Brian talk about that as I'm preparing this. I don't count the calories on my vegetables. So I don't count them when I give you my calorie count because there's so few of them. Now, if I eat vegetables like carrots or corn or something that's got a lot of sugar in potatoes. it, potatoes, potatoes, then I'm going to count those. But anything that's green or onions or mushrooms, I just don't count them. So I'll let Brian talk about that while I prepare our breakfast. Now, one thing to keep in mind while he's cooking, I know not all of us are going to have the ability to cook at work like John does. Uh, I can. I, I work in a gym. But I, uh, I guess if I, I found somewhere in the back, we do have uh, an area where we can put a burner. But, you know, I'm so busy during that time. I'm constantly working with people that uh, what I do is I prepare mine ahead of time. So I have them with me, and I can just warm them up at work. So I do the same types of foods. But in my case, I do it ahead of time and just make sure that I put it in a container and take it to work with me. Um, so that's an, an important aspect. Again, you notice he has all these vegetables. Now, the one thing about vegetables is that, uh, first of all, you, you're going to get your fiber from there. You're going to get lots of vitamins, apparently, except vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to get, uh, that's where you get your vitamins. That's where you get your fiber. That's where, and, and, and believe it or not, the more fiber you get in your system like that, the more filling it is. It's the same thing with having a little bit of fat. For instance, you'll see that there's an avocado here. Now, the, an avocado has a good amount of fat in it, and that you would count as a calorie, obviously. You'd have, and, but the avocado, uh, that, that good fat will actually make you feel more satisfied. For instance, same thing with an egg yolk. He's making eggs. You notice he's not separating them. He's, are, are you at all? He's doing all. the full egg. See? Yeah, I use a full egg because it doesn't bother me because I know I need that nutrition yep. value. And that's also in the egg where all the vitamins are as well. So you're going to get all the vitamins and nutrition. Now, all the protein's basically in the white, but the uh, yolk is where the, uh, obviously the fat, but then the vitamins are as well. But that's what the little chick has to live off of when it's, being, when it's growing. So uh, you'll notice he's doing his seasoning too. You may or may not like the same seasonings. He has some, uh, uh, he has some pepper. He has some, uh, is that garlic powder you garlic, have there? Garlic, and this is onion powder. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. You may or may not like that. See, I have a seasoning that I like uh, that this one right here is called uh, Red Dog Rub. It's, it's actually a no salt seasoning, but it's really good. It's what I like. It has some cayenne pepper in it. It's a little bit spicy, but they have a bunch of different kinds that they, uh, that they make. 
But um, I, I find what I like, he finds what he likes. He sees me the way he would, you season it the way you would to make it. <laughs> and now his eyes are going to start watering because he. Uh, oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, but as he cooks, you'll see that he's got everything ready to go. And that's also a very important aspect because if you're sitting there trying to chop vegetables while you're cooking at the same time, you're, that's when you'll end up. Not uh, a good idea. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Well, so what I've done is I've thrown in bell pepper, and I've taken a sliver of the bell pepper, probably a quarter of the bell pepper, chopped it up. I took a half of an onion, and I chopped it up and diced it up. Then I took a quarter of a jalapeno, cut up and diced it because that's what I like. Those are the veggies I like. You're going to hear me throughout our presentation refer to that as volumizing. You can hear the popping because the vegetables are popping. They're cooking. My mother has actually found that with onions, if she cooks with them, she can saute them with no oil, no pan spray, no nothing because of the moisture in the onion. And so you can even use the moisture off the onion. I like to hear the popping sound. For me, it's more of a mental thing. <laughs> and so I'm going to hit start again. Now, so I've got my veggies, and this is what I'm calling volumizing your food. If I had just taken two eggs and scrambled two eggs, then it wouldn't look like I had much on my plate. And I like to eat. You know, one of the things is, is that I did not... I have, the reason why I haven't been successful in the past is because every time I got done eating some kind of diet, I would feel hungry and like I was starving myself. So I had to figure out something this time that made my mind feel like I wasn't going to be hungry afterwards, even though my stomach knew I wasn't hungry. And so I call it volumizing your food. And I'm going to coin that. That's, that's our phrase from now on is volumizing. So I've got my... My vegetables are ready. My eggs are mixed. I put garlic powder, onion powder, dill weed, and a little black pepper. Now I'm going to pour my eggs in. Brian, so, would you have me a plate out of there, please? Absolutely. Forgot to get a plate. And now I'm going to also add in a little bowl of mushrooms. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So now I've got in here mushrooms, eggs, bell pepper, onion, and jalapenos. And this is what my breakfast is. And you know what's funny is, is that the vegetables actually are more than the eggs. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. I find uh, something that I like to do um, when I'm cooking my eggs is I'll actually purchase uh, pico de gallo that's already made. I'll saute that in the pan with mushrooms and add eggs myself. Again, that's what I like. This is what he likes. And so you'll notice that uh, um, it, that means you try to figure something out that if you and if you don't like eggs then you find something else but you know what uh, eggs are one of the perfect proteins because first of all they're inexpensive second of all they uh, it, they're easier for your body to digest and the, the less or your body has to digest the, the less work your body has to do to digest the more it can take advantage of all that good protein and all the all the vegetables that are in there now so we're going to throw our eggs and veggies on our plate and folks, this is just two regular eggs. This is not two extra large eggs. I'm going to show you here in just a second. But we're going to add to our breakfast. That's why I said add sausage. These are turkey sausage patties. We're going to start that. I'm going to move it to high heat because all I really need to do is warm these up. So now I've added a turkey sausage by Jimmy Owens, Jimmy Owens Sausage. It's 100 calories for two patties. Here is what my eggs look like and that's a lot of food if you if, if you're looking down at that plate you're thinking to yourself wow that's gonna that, that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all that and uh, you know sometimes you may not be able to you, you don't think of two eggs and some vegetables uh, being all that um, all that filling and all that but you look at that plate and it's just amazing how much food that is and it, that's why I call it volumizing if I had just two eggs on here then it would take up half of the size but my mushrooms my bell peppers my onions all that added so much volume that when I look at this mentally, when I look at it, I think, oh my God, that's a lot of food. I'm eating a regular breakfast. I'm not dieting. No. And if you notice, everything that's on this plate is fresh. As Brian told you, you can go to the grocery store and get the bell peppers, the onions, tomatoes, and all that already pre-cut. Um, they have them pre-cut yep. in the fresh vegetable section. So you don't have to do it yourself. I enjoy cutting the vegetables up myself and doing that. And so it doesn't bother me. But um, nonetheless, this whole breakfast, when we're done, and I'm going to add, because I like a little flavor. I used to love ketchup. I still love ketchup. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but um, I add salsa. And I'll add a tablespoon to two tablespoons. 
of soils over that. And I normally would measure for you, but I don't have to because I've seen it. I just sprinkle some on top, and then I will mix 